Can I say a couple more words about the pickle? Sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Young, and this is Earth Eats, and today we are making some quick pickles. This is a kind of a bread and butter pickle. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. Uh, it's my favorite fridge pickle to make. Like, it's a fresh pickle. You're not canning it or fermenting it or anything. It's a vinegar pickle. So it's really simple to make. I'm gonna start with the brine. So one cup of apple cider vinegar then a half a cup of a little bit fancier vinegar, like a champagne vinegar, it would be really nice. I couldn't find that. This is a nice white wine vinegar. Just gives it a little more depth of flavor. And then a cup of water. And then we're gonna add all of our aromatics. So this is some yellow mustard seed, got some celery seed, this is a pickling spice, which is a blend of many things. Uh, looks like some bay leaf in there, coriander seed, some cinnamon even, um, allspice, cloves. I don't like my pickles to be heavy on the allspice and cloves, so I always try to either pick those out or make sure there's just not a lot of that in there. It might even have some red pepper flakes in there. And turmeric. I'm gonna wanna add two tablespoons of kosher salt or pickling salt. You really just don't want to use a salt that has those caking agents and you don't want iodized salt. So it's pretty important to use a kosher salt for pickling. Half a cup of sugar. These are a fairly sweet pickle. So we're just gonna stir this and put it on the stove and bring it to a boil to just really wake up those flavors. So you just wanna dissolve the sugar and the salt once it comes to a boil, we'll boil them for about four minutes. And we'll be ready. We've got our brine ready, so now we're just gonna get our cucumbers and onion, which are really main things that go in here. I don't have any ready right now, they're still growing, but my neighbor, next door neighbor, was kind enough to offer me a cucumber from her garden. So that's what we're gonna use. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, so I'm gonna maybe have to use a store-bought one. But you just wanna cut these fairly thin. You could use a mandolin or something to slice them, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. You just don't want them super thick. One of the main reasons I like to um, grow my own pickles is because I grow a pickling cucumber and the you can pick them when they're small and the skins are just so tender that you never have to peel them, they're so good. They also just have a real sweet, almost flavor, nutty flavor or something. A lot of people think that pickles are really involved and they're not, they're so simple. You just put your raw cucumbers in a jar. I like to use a wide mouth jar because it's easier to get stuff in there. And then the only other vegetable, well, two other vegetables that are going in this are onion. And then the other thing you wanna put in there is a couple of cloves of garlic. And you're not gonna chop them, you're just gonna kinda of mash them to release the flavor. Just stuff them in there. All right, that's it. I love that color with the turmeric. That's kind of what makes it a bread and butter pickle for me. I mean, besides the fact that it's sweet and sour, but I love that yellow, deep yellow turmeric color. Okay, I guess that's full enough. And you can kind of put something down this side to get some of the air bubbles out so it settles. Might have overfilled it just a tad. Stick it in the fridge. They just get better with time, so in a couple weeks they're going to be delicious. Um, but you can start eating them in a couple days. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kate Young. This is Earth Eats. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your friends. And you can follow us on all the platforms at Earth Eats. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Earth Eats. Thanks for joining us.